Hey, Perry. I get so excited when I see your name come up. I'm like, I feel like we've grown up now together through this saga. And I get so excited when you give me another season of this show because it's so good. Peyton, I'm starting with you this time around because Tori's evolution was one of my favorite elements of this new season, but it was making me wonder, were there any nerves on your part about pulling that off, especially after everything Tori did through season three? Was there ever a concern that, you know, there'd be no realistic path to redemption for her? Well, first of all, thank you. Um, You're one of the first people I'm hearing feedback from, so... um, Yes, it was nerve wracking as hell. Like I still really don't know, you know, I, I was like, is anyone going to feel sympathy for this chick? Like I've done a lot of damage. Is there any coming back? You know, I, I feel like I have a very complicated home life and family life. And, you know, that's kind of shown a little bit more in the season. But and then also like my character's relationship with Amanda LaRusso was really fun to, to get to play. Um, but yeah, it was definitely, definitely nerve wracking. But I was really grateful for the opportunity to have a little bit more. Job very well done. I was very surprised to see her teaming up with Amanda in that respect. And it made all the sense in the world. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, they always surprised me. I wasn't expecting that at all. It was very, very effective. All right. Tanner, how did it feel filming that final scene with Billy? Because from the viewer perspective, it's like I can feel the weight of the rage that Robbie's been carrying around all this time. And then I watch a scene like that and it's this huge moment of catharsis for me. So while performing that scene, is it the perf- is it the uh, pressure of doing an emotional beat like that? Or can you feel some of that catharsis too? No, I felt I felt I felt it from the second I got the script um, because it's what I've been waiting for for what and I feel like a lot of people have been waiting for for four years, you know. And um, I when I first got the script too, like I was reading it, I was reading, I was like, I don't know where this is going. And then I got to it and I just started reading it and just reading it, I started crying. I was like, this is what I've wanted for so long. Um, <laughs> and then all the day, it was just, it was so perfect, just with an empty dojo there uh, with Billy. And we were just so in it. There was like nobody on set. It was just me and him. Um, and I feel like it was everything building up to that for the past four years, which has been, it was, it was really fun. So no pressure whatsoever. It was just, it was just fulfilling. <laughs> I love this Very so much. Beautiful moment. I feel bad asking you something like this when I know you guys are already well into the next season, but just to tease what's to come a little, can Robbie reconcile with Johnny and still be a member of Cobra Kai? Or can those two things just not exist at the same time? I, I, <sighs> I think it's hard because Cobra Kai is such in a place right now that is, uh, do I dare say evil? Um, so it's kind of it's kind of hard uh, to find that balance. Um, I I don't know. I I think I think anything's honestly I, I truly do. I think anything's a possibility in this world. Uh, that that everything's in. So I, it could be a possibility. I think we got a 50-50 shot. I don't know. Let's flip a coin and find out. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for more. All right, Mary. I, I feel like I'm kind of giving you a similar type of uh, season five tease, but where is Sam's hat, head at at the very end of the season? Because the last we see of her, she, she kind of gets what she wants to a degree. Daniel and Johnny are working together and they're also supporting her even though she lost. But when she walks away, she looks so defeated to me after that last conversation. So in your mind at the end of season four, is she in a position where she's just completely lost all hope? I don't think it's lost all hope, but I think, um, I think you know, even more than, than wanting it's like, I feel like all of us throughout like season four, like we all start from the place ending season three and going into season four of like, okay, like all questions will be answered by this all Valley. And this, this is the, you know, this, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, but it feels, I don't know. It's almost like how it actually feels when we're filming where it's like, it felt far away. Like episode 10, we started episode one, episode 10, the idea of the all Valley was like this big concept that we all knew the whole season was based on but it seemed like years away. It seemed like we had plenty of time and then it just sped up on us. So it's like, I almost feel like Samantha's like start her goal was like, yeah, get, you know, Daniel and Johnny to work together and that will be the answer. And then it's almost like that, that thing of like getting caught in the trap. And I've gotten, I've done this in my life so many times of, 
of the wanting. And like, if I want this thing, once I get that thing, it will fix all my problems. If I, you know, I, I all I want is cake right now, or all I want is to, to like, you know, if my skin cleared up or if my, you know what I mean? You always think like, if this thing happens, I will have all the answers. And I feel like in a way they finally get it where, yeah, she gets the thing that she's been working toward, which was Daniel and Johnny to like work together. But like the ultimate goal was beyond that. And it was safety for safety for the valley, the soul of the valley, having, uh, you know, a family and safety and belonging and all these things that she hasn't had for so long. So I feel like she's not lost hope because of it, but it's almost like finally taking a step back and seeing what the bigger picture was all along. And it's like, yes, I got this small victory, but I lost the war. That's why I love this show so much. I love the <laughs> I love the fun and the entertainment value, but it's that complexity that leaves you with something to take with you well after the credits roll. They're going to kick me out of here. I could talk to you guys forever. Congratulations. And next season in person. I want to see you guys face to face. I love it. Me too. That would be the dream. All right. All the best guys. See you soon.